Okay, we're going to use R to identify unusual values, which would include outliers, le values with high leverage, that's values that are unusual on the x-axis, outliers unusual on the y-axis, and then values that are influential, that is overly influencing the uh, regression line. Well, R has one plot, it's in the car package, called the influence plot, which is the model 7 here. And we'll just go ahead and run that. And you'll see the plot over here. So I'm going to actually change just a second. And we'll look at this in a little bit broader context. I did this one using an R notebook, but it still has, there's the influence plot statement. Basically, uh, observations I'm looking up here that have studentized residuals more than two. Some people would say three. Uh, would indicate uh, potential outliers, things that are unusual in Y. And you'll see that down here it's flagged two values, observation 248 and 358 as being potential uh, outliers. Then hat values are just values that indicate that we have leverage, values that are unusual in um, on X. And anything above 0.2 or 0.3, and you can see these are like 0.01, or not, we don't have anything that really would fit into the high leverage uh, category. And then for Cook's D, we're looking at anything above 1, and and or if we have one value that's substantially higher than the Cook's D for the second highest. Well, anyway, none of those Cook D's are very high. I guess you could say that for 358, it's more that's quite a bit higher than the other uh, others. But anyway, I'm just down here. I just looked at each one of them and uh, did flag those as outliers on both um, uh, 248 and 358. But the Cook's D is pretty low on those and... So even if it is an outlier, it's not very uh, influential. You probably ought to check to see if there's a data uh, entry error or something like that. Of course, the other thing you can and probably should do is for each one of these values, run your model with and without those values to see if it has any impact on the estimates of the parameter or squared or anything like that. Um, And 311, it looks like, is flagged because it has the highest leverage value. It's the highest one in X, although it's still not very high, certainly, compared to um, the standards that you might normally use. I did look at that uh, point, and I thought it was an interesting point in the data set, um, but I really wasn't, didn't see any reason to be concerned with it. Just, just interested. And that'll be it for this. Okay, I just wanted to add in one more thing on... Uh, Cook's D, and I'm going to use an equation here that I've seen online and some other places that gives you a cutoff for Cook's D. It's 4 divided by n minus the number of coefficients minus 1. And so, done that. Here's a citation for you, but probably need to give you some more of those. But if there were any things that exceeded that, there would be a line across here, and you can see these are just the values that are the most highly influential, and those match up with, at least the top one matches up with the ones that we saw in the uh, other analysis. So two, observation 248 is the most influential, but probably not influential enough to um, pay much attention to.